Meanwhile, the U.S. is standing by its position of seeking dialogue with North Korea while firmly responding to the regime's provocations. But North Korea watchers say issues in other parts of the world may be diverting Washington's attention away from Pyongyang. Our Choi Yu-sun has this story. At the start of 2015, Washington slapped additional sanctions on Pyongyang for its alleged hacking of Sony pictures late last year. In a State of the Union address later in the same month, however, President Barack Obama excluded any reference to North Korea. Then came the U.S. president's controversial YouTube interview in which he said the North Korean regime will eventually collapse as the Internet penetrates further into the reclusive country. And it is very hard to sustain that kind of brutal uh, authoritarian regime uh, in this modern world. The State Department's official overseeing East Asian affairs days later said that bringing change to North Korea doesn't necessarily involve a collapse of the current leadership. The fact of the matter is we don't have a hostile policy. We have a denuclearization policy. Washington's point man in North Korea, Sung Kim, reportedly failed at a recent attempt to engage with the North in a third country. While Kim has said the U.S. has always taken a two-track approach of enforcing sanctions and keeping the door to dialogue open, it seemed odd for the administration to make such a conciliatory gesture immediately after imposing new sanctions. Analysts suggest with the latest proposal, the administration sought to hold the North accountable for the impasse rather than actually resume talks. North Korea chumming up with Russia as of late is also not a welcome development for the U.S., especially as Moscow has invited both the South and North Korean leaders to its World War II commemorative ceremony in May. And that, according to some analysts, prompted President Obama to cause a stir. All in all, crises in the Middle East and Ukraine, along with prolonged deadlock in the North Korean issue, are thought to have diverted the White House's attention away from Pyongyang. Choi Yu-sun, Arirang News.